And then Oles will play for the win. They've beaten four ranked opponents in the last month. Can they make it five tonight? Davis Kane for the lead. No, the putback up and in by the freshman. 4.9 to play, the Oles lead it. Are able to go up over Lyles to get the ball. However, there's time. Christy Tolliver can work some magic. Tolliver for the win. A timeout called. What are they waving off? They're gonna look. The only thing they can check here is to make sure she got the shot off. To make sure she got the shot off before the horn sounded, and to see her foot on the line, whether or not her foot was behind the line, to make sure it was a three-pointer. Watch again, you be the judge. She oh, definitely got the shot off in time. Florida State fans and coaches wanted to travel. You can see where her foot slid a little bit, but that back foot looked fairly stationary. And it is good. The signal comes from the official, Dee Kantner, and Maryland escapes with a one-point win, 72-71. On the same court, where less than a week ago, Ty Lawson hit a running three to stun the FSU men. It's Christy Tolliver who pulls a page out of the Carolina playbook and rips the heart right out of the Seminoles, 72 to 71. What a game. Let's watch it one more time, the stake and shake play of the game. And what's interesting is Florida State had a timeout and didn't take it because they didn't want Maryland to have a chance to set up their play. And you needed to defend Tolliver a little more closely coming up the floor. As we've seen these heroics before, they won a national championship on a shot that sent them into overtime against Duke. So certainly not unexpected that Tolliver would be the shooter. Well, that look tells the story. Florida State's remarkable run comes to an end. 72 to 71 the final, but what a terrific basketball game tonight played by the Knowles and the Maryland Terrapins as Maryland sneaks out of Tallahassee and will head back to College Park with a win.